Hello and welcome to you all. Today in this session, we are going to learn about the essay Alien Soil by Jamaica Kinsek. At the very first, I would like to introduce the writer of this essay. The writer of this essay is Jamaica Kinsek. She was born in May 25, 1949. She is an Antiguan. American novelist, essayist, gardener, and gardening writer. She was born in St. Jones, Antigua, and currently is residing in North Bennington, United States. She is also a residential professor of African American Studies at Howard University. Talking about her family background, she was belonged to a poor family. Despite her mother was a literate and cultured woman, she grew up with the poverty and lacking. She was an intelligent student during her schooling. She compelled to be removed from her school at the age of 16 to help the family and to support the family because there were three little brothers in the family after her. At the age of 17, her mother sent her to New York as a house worker. During that time, she enrolled in community college. Later, she joined Franconia College in New Hampshire on full scholarship. Later, she returned to New York. Only after 20 years, she returned to her native land, Antigua. She changed her name to Jamaica Kinsade in 1973 when her first writing was published. Actually, her original name was Elaine Porter Richardson. She changed her name to Jamaica Kinsade primarily because of her family back, back home's approval of her writing. Kinsade's writing explores such themes as colonialism and colonial legacy post-colonialism and neo-colonialism, gender and sexuality, mother-daughter relationships, British and American imperialism, colonial education, writing, racism, class, power, death, and adolescence. Let's talk about Antigua, the country in which the essay has been written about. A writer has attempted to explore the hazard situation during the colonized period. Compulsion of native people to be engaged in slavery and ecosystem to be destroyed. Antigua was being colonized more than 350 years by British. In 1632, the British were the first Europeans to colonize the Antigua and it remained a British colony until 1967. Although it gained its independence on the 1st November 1981. During the British reign in Antigua, they created skulk on native people and the beautiful environment of the Antigua. They suppress the people and modify the ecosystem as they want. They damage the original culture and the landscape according to their desires. The island's indigenous people became virtually extinct not long after European settlers and African slaves descended upon the islands. Their demise is believed to have been due to the combined effects of slavery, disease and the malnutrition. The essay Alien Soil originally published in the New Yorker in 1993, June 21. Kinsaid continues her protest against the effects of British imperialism on her native land. This essay talks about the experience of separation from her parents. At the age of 17, an American family adopts her as a au pale girl, a girl taken to other house for work. The essay points that our landscape can be profoundly influenced by the power relation among those who live there. She points out many possibilities of getting medical plants in Antigua. 
She argues that natural resources in Antigua are very useful for human beings, but British empires are misusing those resources. Living on land does not necessarily mean we love that because we must have emotional feeling with it. Like all the ordinary Antiguans, Kinsaid is descended from the African slaves European brought to the island. The essay shows her protest against the effect of British imperialism on her native land. Her major focus in this essay is how the landscape of Antigua was received by the English ruler to their own taste. The flora and fauna got disappeared. The British imperialism met changed Antigua's landscape. Antigua is a place developed by white with the help of black people. She feels her native land Antigua is an alien because of the imperialism of British English people and all the original natural phenomena found earlier in Antigua are destroyed by them and they have cultivated and renewed according to their taste. British rulers have direct impact upon nature and the people who are in power can bring visual Im image in visual change in nature. The wilderness found in Antigua is gone now. The writer returned to Antigua after 20 years of since as being a photographer and writer. She does not find real images there now. Many plants, trees, flowers got their names according to the people who came as a ruler and their influence. Slowly the environment got destroyed. The clearance of the forest made the ecosystem damaged of Antigua. The term invisible hand is used in this essay for those expansionists. Antiguans were influenced by those expansionists by those British. Colonial impression is still on them. They are no other than the products of English people right now. Today writer feels that Antigua is an alien soil for British colonialists because they do not have blood relationship with it and it is also an alien soil for native people of Antigua because their identity is destroyed by the British colonialists and they do not find anything as their own. This is my for today. Thank you.